So one trick that I have never seen anywhere is you can actually use two NAT routers. You're able to put NAT routers in series so that, for example, you'd have an external NAT router and an internal NAT router. And uh, you might want to put this link on the show notes. It's www.grc.com slash NAT slash NAT.htm. I'm, I've put together a page where I've drawn some diagrams to make this a little more clear and explained it carefully because it's a very cool idea. The idea is that you could put your, your game server on the external NAT, on the NAT that's connected to the Internet. And then rather than putting the rest of your computers on the same NAT router, put them on their own NAT router and then hook that second NAT router to the first one, essentially in series. Leo then observed that the external NAT router could be set up with port forwarding so that it would block all unsolicited incoming traffic except that which is specifically designated for the game server. Well, and it's also, so no longer is your game server on your LAN. It's sort of on like WAN 2. It's sort of on a separate network and and again, you're able to access the game server because you're going, you're going through the NAT outbound, which is where the game server is, on the outside of your second NAT. But it can't get to you. So if something were to compromise it, you're safe. The original audio-only version of this podcast can be found on the Gibson Research Corporation site at grc.com slash security now. That episode is about 26 minutes long. This clip illustrates some of the highlights from that show. This video clip comes from a large collection of related clips. All are indexed and easy to find at www.askmrwizard.com, along with related items, text articles, illustrations, and forums. Please visit us today. We appreciate your support. Thank you.